so this is what we have going on today we're going to be having an axe handle with a digital caliper and a carpenter's pencil and a sharpie so we take a measurement real quick with the digital caliper to see how much we're going to take off and use the pencil to slowly work our way up to the handle and I will guide you through the steps as we go. So here we go. So now that we know how much to take off, we only want to take up to the pencil mark line you do not want to take off any more past that or it will be taking too much off i would like to talk a moment about my haters go ahead and talk shit about me i don't care i am a chosen one of god when you talk shit about me it's how you feel about yourself not me my light is so bright you can't handle it, so therefore you must talk shit about me. I will always be moving forward, while your fat ass will be stuck in reverse. So on that note, go fuck yourself. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get after it. Now that we have taken some material off with the draw knife, now we need to check it with the caliper to see about where we are at. Double check to make sure you are getting a correct reading. Double check your measurements so you don't make a mistake. Now that we are getting close, we will take the axe head and do another dry fitment. And then we will go from there, starting the process all over again. Here you can see it is coming through the eye of the axe and on its way to the end of the handle. Now we will take this marker or a pencil and we will scribe another mark. Sorry about the movement. I needed to put the camera back into its proper area.
Okay, now that we are getting close, we do another drive statement of the axe head on the handle. As you can see, making sure it goes in on correctly. Keep working it down toward the handle, tapping it down. Using the carpenter's pencil once again. Let's mix it up a little bit with a little bit of pawn music. If you're wondering why the heart is in the way of the video because my hair was all fucked up and I need a haircut and I look like a fucking gum. Now we do another dry fitment and if you ask me I think it's turning out pretty tits. What do you think? Now I start to work on the edges of the handle. I eventually get a hat on so I don't continue to look like a freaking gump in my big head.
We are getting extremely close now, but I'd like to get it closer to the shoulder of the axe handle. So I will continue to work on it a little bit more, checking for curling and looking for high spots as I take the hex head off. Now I'm just cleaning it up and getting rid of some of the imperfections and we'll be ready to put the wedge in place with dry fitment. Now that's what I'm talking about. So I take the digital caliper, measure the circumference of the eye and then I transfer that over to the wedge and use a sharpie so I know how much to take off. There and there. Then I take the draw knife and I put the wedge in the vise. Now just a little bit more touch up and we're ready to rock and this will be ready for fitment and glue and wedge placement and then we'll be ready to go. Now here I work on the shoulder a little bit on the edges, I can't want a paper fit so it will fit down snug and tight on there. And then I 
do that to make it and now it look ready to rock then I take the little caliper, measure eye of the axe head, and then transfer that onto the wedge. When you put wedge in the bias, you need to take some off and then drip the wedge around end for end, so you can draw off the rest on the other side. Then you will flip the wedge to the other side underneath there and repeat the process. I'd like to take a moment to thank all my subscribers for all the support and comments and likes. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. At this stage of the game, now that we put the axe handle back in the vise, and now we do the wedge dry fitment with a rubber mallet, then after that we will work on sketching out the Conan the Barbarian grip area. Here we take a hacksaw blade and check depth area for wedge and saw out any excess material to allow for the wedge.
check this jam out and I think you like it. Now I am going to use a woodshop teacher trick that I learned in high school on how to use a pencil without a tape measure to get my reference lines for my Conan the Barbarian handle. Grip area. The sticker on the handle is a Baker's Pro Tools handle, 36 inch hickory handle that you can buy at Minards for around $15. Most of them are 36 inch handles and you can also get it in a single bit. Now I am going to grab the handle so I can see about where I want the grip to stop. Then I will freehand draw the X pattern for the grip, but I can't show you how I did that because my haters you're gonna have to figure that shit out for yourself. Fuck the haters. I can't give everybody all my tricks all the time. I've had to put a stop to that shit. You didn't know what I'm saying. To see the finished product of this Conan the Barbarian axe, go to my YouTube channel and I have some shorts on there that you can check out to see the finished product of that. Thank you for hanging out with me on this build. Love, peace, chicken grease. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. God bless you.